Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Old Bridge is brought to you by Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Monroe is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. The Monroe Falcons are back at the GMC Championship looking for a second straight title. It's Monroe taking on Old Bridge. The Knights split with Monroe in the regular season, handing him one of their two losses of the year. In the 25th minute, Monroe gets a PK. Jamie Beninda's shot is just wide. This match remains scoreless. Later in the first, Angelina Roca from distance. This one hits the crossbar. So close, we take another look. At the half, we are scoreless. Monroe continued to create quality scoring chances. On the free kick, Old Bridge keeper Jessica Lane comes out to get a hand on it and then smothers the ball on the turf. Then Emma Burness from 29 yards out. Lane steers it over the bar. Jessica Lane with 14 saves for Old Bridge. She's a big reason this match remains scoreless. In the 79th minute, overtime is looming. Burness feeds Sophia Gartner. She settles, makes a move, and lets it rip. What a shot by Sophia Gartner. Monroe finally breaks through. There's just 1.22 left on the clock, and the senior comes through with her 14th goal of the year. Take another look at this one. The Coastal Carolina commit shows why she's a D1 player. Fear the shot of clear. What a blast. And that's the difference as the Monroe Falcons repeat as GMC champions, and the celebration is on. 1-0 is your final. Monroe is now 14-2-1 on the season. There were tears of joy for Sophia Gartner as she talked about her game winner in the late stages. Honestly, it was just so refreshing because there were so many rips that were just going over and over and over, and just to finally getting in last minute, it was just... I've been waiting it for all four years of my high school career, so it's just the best feeling I could describe. Like all four years, and this is my last year. It was like I can't ask for anything more. They had one mission. They wanted to come back as back-to-back -back champions, and they've, from day one in the summer, worked with that mentality. Uh, and we've had our ups and downs, but when we got here tonight, they they saw the end line and they knew what they could do. So it was awesome to see. Very proud of this group. In Piscataway, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.